Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be an Amazon unboxing of art supplies um, and some book binding material. Uh, and I'll get in discussion of that, kind of what I've been up to here lately. So I'll go ahead and cut into this first box. Let's see some of the book binding stuff. So I purchased this here. Um, it is wax uh, thread, and it came with some needles already, which I just didn't notice that. But um, when I purchased it, I normally originally thought it just came with a thread, but it also came with some needles, which is fine. Extra needles never hurt. And then I purchased this adhesive for uh, book binding glue. So we're gonna check that out. And then I also purchased, okay, here we go. The Tombow dual brush pens and portrait. There's that. And I did have one more item, but it got sent to um, Louisiana by accident. <laughs> the palette got put on the wrong uh, milk chart. Oh, this is another set of Tombow dual brush pens. Uh, this is a secondary set. It is. crazy. The packaging this is, is weird. Okay. I know. This is my, I gotta edit that out now. We're just gonna minus that because I'm gonna have to edit that out. So this is a bone folder that I also purchased. Um, so these are what have came in so far. But I do have one more item that I purchased that I'm just waiting on. And then, uh, now for the books that I bought from my local uh, antique store. Okay, so I guess I'll start off with this first. So this is a Sandra Brown book that I currently had and I wanted to make my own watercolor sketchbook um, so I took some paper that I already had and sewed it and then glued it in here and then already working on it but you can tell the stitching I need to work on that but it's holding up really nicely and I did not use the pH glue that I bought actually used some um, all-purpose glue that I bought at Office Max and I love this like it's it's like awesome uh, next I bought um, actually I made that so I didn't buy that uh, this here uh, I'm gonna do the same thing with this book by Jude Devereaux and this one here is a smaller size I actually have some pastel paper that I want to put in this so I'm gonna see how that holds up it's more flimsier than the watercolor. Uh, now these rest of the books are not going to be used for that. I got this cool art book. Um, paintings, I'm assuming it's from Amsterdam paintings. Um, and their gallery that they have, which is really cool. It's got like Rembrandt in here. Some other pictures of painters. So This one is um, actually called what's that? these are actually uh, sketches of uh, a portrait of the Jewish communities of the Eastern Europe before the Holocaust uh, a world at twilight so these are just some sketches that were done in that time period so I think that was pretty cool for a dollar um, next is another Homer Winston book. 
watercolors a book. So, like I said, I'm kind of getting into his paintings. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Then this one is for a reference guide, um, just for ideas for American lighthouses. I have a coworker of mine that is wanting me to do a lighthouse painting for her. So this will be great for like um, kind of idea of what they are, how they um, are on the inside, outside, kind of simplicity, and just kind of what I need to look at for a guide um, for when I do her uh, painting for her. So, give her a quick control there. Uh, those were all for a dollar. So, yeah, those were my cool finds. Like I said, right now I'm kind of into book finding. This was so relaxing, like really like chilled. I was sewing and just watching my uh, new show I'm trying to get into on Hulu. I think it's about, uh, so it's a new walking, I won't say walking dead, it's something in regards to that. Um, still trying to get into it. I still love the walking dead, the original um, series. Uh, anyway, so that's it for now. I hope you enjoy this unboxing and stay tuned for more videos. Like and subscribe.